In this episode, we are going to look at subtraction, subtraction of matrices. Very simple. So the same way we did for addition of matrices, we are going to try for the subtraction. And first, to perform the subtraction of matrices, they must have the same size same size or order the same order very necessary you can also perform subtraction of matrices only if they have the same size or the same order so let's first make an analysis of matrix a which is giving us a b c d then we have a matrix B, which is also E, F, G, H. So these are two matrices. And the subtraction is going to go this way, A minus B or B minus A. So let's first do for A minus B, which is going to be equal to. Now you are going to perform the subtraction for entities at the same position as we did for the addition. So here we are going to have A, which is the first matrix. At the first position, we have A. And at the first position of the B, we have E. So that's minus E and B minus F. We have C minus G and D minus H. So this is the operation for a minus b let's see if we are going to get the same answer for b minus a so here pay attention the b is starting so our entity should start from b so the first position of the b is e so e minus the first position of the a which is a like this and b which is f minus b here we have g minus c and here we have h minus d like this so you can see that a minus b a minus b is not equal to b minus a pay attention to that for matrix addition we saw that a plus b is equal to b plus a but for subtraction, A minus B is never equal to B e minus A. Are we okay? We can see it from this. The same way we can perform the subtraction for a 3 by 3. Here we can check the order. This is a 2 by 2. This is also a 2 by 2, meaning we can do the subtraction. So let's look at matrix B. For A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, matrix C. So we have this matrix, and we are to find B minus C, the same approach here we are going to subtract c from b so d first we are going to write all what we see and we do the operation minus c what we have for c which is jkl qr so the final operation is going to be this a is going to be minus g and b minus k in the order of the positions so e n uh, 
R. So this is the final answer for E minus C. You can do that for C minus B and everything is going to be reversed. So if you do for C minus B, that we are going to get this minus A, K minus B, L minus C. We have M minus D, N minus E, O minus F, and P minus G, Q minus H, and we have R minus L in that form. So E minus C is not equal to C minus B. Let's check out for some examples. So these two, the order, we have 3 by 3 and we have 3 by 3. So matrix subtraction is possible in this example. So let's look at this example and try to figure it out more. If we are given, so this is the question example. For the given matrix, or for the given matrices, perform the following operations. Perform the following operations if possible. If possible. We are going to check if it is possible. So we have matrix A given us. 2, 0, negative 3, and 2. We have negative 1, 8, 10, and negative 5. We have matrix B also as 0, negative 4, negative 7, 2. We have our 12 here, 3, 7, 9. Let's add another matrix C. Which is also equal to 202, negative 4956, or negative 6. This way. So we are to perform these operations if possible. A, A plus B, and our B, E minus A. Let's see for C, A minus A. B and D, C minus B. Check if this operation is possible. So first with A, we are going to have A plus B. Let's ask if the order is the same. For matrix A, the order is 2 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 2 by 4. And for matrix B, the order is also 2 by 4. So matrix addition is possible. So in order to add this, we are going to get the first adding to that. So that's 2 plus 0 and our 0 plus negative 4. We also have negative 3 plus negative 7 and 2 plus 2 for that side. Negative 1 plus 12. We have 8 plus 3 and we have 10 plus 7. Negative 5 plus our 9 as that. So A plus B is going to give us a matrix of the form 2 plus 0, that's 2. This and this is going to give us negative 4. This and that is going to give us negative 10 and this is 4. This and this we are going to get 11 this is also going to give us 11, 17, and that is 4. 
for that. So A plus B is giving us this answer of a matrix also two by four, two rows, four columns. Are you okay? So let's try the second one and see, which is B, B minus A. We are going to check that one out. B minus A, let's do it straightforward. They have the same order, so subtraction is possible. That is going to be B, 0 minus 2, 0 minus 2. And that is going to give us negative 2. Negative 4 minus 0. That is going to give us negative 4. Negative 7 minus negative 3. So that is going to be like negative 7 plus 3. And that is going to give us negative 4. Negative 4. You can go through the process and see. And here we are going to get 2 minus 2. And that is 0. On the second row, that will be 12 minus minus 1. And that is going to be 13. 3 minus 8. Negative 5. 7 minus 10. That is going to be negative 3. Negative 5. Or 9 minus negative 5. That is going to be 14 for that. Let's check for the C. If let's check if B minus A is equal to A minus B. So this is A minus B, and that is going to be now this time A minus B. So this time two minus zero. Two and zero minus minus four. And that is going to give us positive four. Negative three minus negative 7. That is going to give us an answer of positive 4. 2 minus 2. That is 0. And negative 1 minus negative 12. Or negative 1 minus 12. That is going to give us an answer of what? Negative 13. Here too, we are going to get 5. We are going to get 3 and negative 14 for that. So you can check for the answer. B minus A is somehow the negation of A minus B. Do you see that? Okay, so let's look at the D part. C minus B. What is the order of matrix C? Matrix C has an order of 3 by 3 matrix. So can we perform a negative operation or a subtraction on matrix of the order 3 by 3 and 2 by 4. No, it cannot be possible because they do not have the same order. So C minus B is not possible. The same way B minus C is also not possible. Are we okay? And C minus A is not possible. A minus C is also not possible because they do not have the same order. So you check out for the order of the matrix before you perform your addition or your subtraction. Thank you for watching this episode. We come your way again with a different episode.